This demo is brought to you by our friends at Softball Fans. Visit www.softballfans.com for all of your 2017 slow pitch needs. Okay guys, BP Hero checking in here. And what I got today is a 2017 Louisville Slugger Super Z U-Trip models. This video features both the balanced and the in-loaded models. And since the only difference in them is how they're loaded, I figured I'd just do both of these in one video. Both of these are two-piece with a composite handle and a composite barrel and a 12-inch barrel that features their grit-type finish that is meant to promote backspin. Getting things started with the inloaded model here, there's nothing listed as far as an inload goes, but it feels somewhere in between a half and a full ounce. The barrel on both of these were pretty tight and almost sounded kind of metallic. The Z's have had a ping to them in the past, but these were a little more than normal. They weren't terrible performers out of the wrapper either, but I do feel like the previous years of these bats were better performers out of the wrapper. They give that feel that they're going to take two or three hundred swings to really be worth gaming. The 300 to 310 mark was attainable if I really leaned into one, but I didn't get a ball out of this baseball field with either one of these bats. But I'll hush up for a minute, catch up with you when we get to the balance segment of the video. I'm a knuckleball machine. Oh. Nothing like hitting the ball 340 and watching it fall short. <laughs> Moving on to the balanced model, all of the same things apply that I mentioned earlier with the inloaded model as far as the barrel feel and the performance and the feedback. Left some to be desired, but they weren't absolutely terrible. I wasn't a fan of the finish on either one of these. They caused a lot of unwanted knuckleballs if you square the ball up well. If you're a balanced fan, you will like the weighting on these though. It did have a truly balanced feel to it. This was a 28 and it didn't feel all that heavy at all. Ultimately, I'm sure these will come around as all the Louisville's do. A little more of a breaking period is required with these than last year's models, though, in my opinion. Even though these aren't necessarily my cup of tea, if you like the previous models and don't mind breaking a bat in, these might be worth giving a try. That's all I got for this little guys. Thanks for stopping in and checking it out. If you're new to the channel, just happened to catch this video, wondering what this channel's about, subscribe to it and go back and check out all the other stuff that's on there. There's all kinds of BP videos and podcasts and stuff on there, and always more coming. You can also like this video and share it around and comment wherever I've got this posted with any questions or comments or anything like that. Thanks, guys. Last one. Oh. For great prices on this bat and many more, you can call softball fans at 1-800-672-0822 or... If you're not a member of the forums yet, you can head over to www.softballfans.com, click on the community tab, and then click forums, and then go ahead and register. Once you get all signed up, then go up to the search box and type in the name Me Loco Man, as I've shown it spelled below the search box here. On the next page, down below your search function, you will see his profile. Go ahead and click on that, and then click start a conversation, and he will be able to get you some of the best prices on all of your slow pitch softball needs. Thanks, everyone.